Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.35 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is solve problem 4.26 using NASCAR method. But the 4.26 has this circuit here and previously we need to use not voltage but this time we need to use the NASCAR. So let's do it by drawing the loop first okay let's name this as loop i1 and then this loop here as loop i2 and then this loop here as loop i3 and this loop here as loop i4 so we will have four equation with four variables here by using KVL for each loops. Okay, let's start. Let's do KVL F loop I1. Okay, KVL say that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, we start from this voltage source and the current is flowing from negative polarity to positive polarity. So the sign will be negative. So we have minus 500. And then plus, we have 4 ohm here multiplied by I1. Okay, however, this I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we'll have minus I2 here. And then we have 3 here. So we'll have plus 3. And then again multiplied by I1. This I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I3. Okay, once more we will have 6 ohm here. And again we multiply it by I1. However, this time we will have I4 flowing to the opposite direction. So we will have minus I4. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, but I'm on space, so let's move that slightly to the left so I can write this will equal to zero on the right hand side. Okay, and now we will have 4 plus 3 plus 6, that will be 7 plus 6 is 13, and I think we'll have 13 I know. And then for I2, there's only from here, so we'll have minus 4 I2. And I3 only came from here, so we'll have minus 3 I3. And I4 is only came from this bracket here, so we'll have minus 6 I4. And let's move this minus 500 to right hand side, so that will equal to 500. And let's set this as equation number one. Okay, one equation done. And now let's do another equation. Let's do F loop I2. KPL F loop I2. Again, the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. Okay, now what can we do from here? We will have 5I2, or we will start from here maybe first. So we will have 4I2, but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I'll have minus i1 and then plus we'll have 5 and 6 here in series so we'll have 11 multiplied by i2 multiplied by i2 and then we will have this 2 here so we will have plus 2 then multiplied by i2 however this i3 is flowing to the opposite direction so we will have this one and all of that will equal to okay so we will have minus 4 i1 minus 4 i1 and then for i2 we'll have 4 plus 11 which is 15 and then 15 plus 2 that will be 17 so we'll have 17 i2 and then we will have minus 2 i3 so we have minus 2 i3 but we also have 0 for i4 so we have plus 0 i4 maybe do not write that okay so that's all that's all equal to 0 and let's have this as equation number 2 okay two equation to go 
So let's do KVL, but this time at loop I3. KVL at loop I3. Again, the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And let's start from this 3 ohm resistor. So 3 multiplied by I3. But then I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I1. And then plus 2, again multiplied by I3. But then I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. Okay, and then 4. And the only current that pass through it is just I3. And then what else? This 2, okay. 2 multiplied by I3. Remember, this is I4 flowing to the opposite. All of that will equal to 0. Okay, that is two. Okay, move it slightly to the right. Okay, now this one for I1, I only came from this bracket. So we we'll have minus 3i. Okay, and then I2 only came from here. So we'll have minus 2i2. Then for I3, we'll have 3 plus 2, that will be 5. 5 plus 4, that will be 9. 9 plus 2, that will be 11. So we'll have 11 I3. And then I4 only came from here, so we'll have minus 2i. All of that will equal to 0. And let's set this as equation number. Okay, we still need to do one more equation. Okay, now let's do KVL at loop I4. KVL at loop I4. Okay, again, the sum of the voltage will equal to 0. And let's start from this 6 ohm resistor here. So we have 6 multiplied by I4, but I1 flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I1. And then plus 2, again multiplied by I4, but then I3 to the opposite direction, so minus I3. Okay, and then plus, we have 3 and 1 in series, so we will have 4. Four and the only current that pass through it is I4. All of that will equal to 0. And this will be minus 6I1. And then plus, oh, I don't have I2 here, so 0I2. Uh, and then we will have minus 2I3. Minus 2I3. And then we will have 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So we have plus 12. All of that will equal to 0. And let's set this as equation. So we have four equations with four variables. Okay, let's clean up the board and solve it using tools. Okay, we have four equations and four variables from the previous calculation, and we should be able to solve it. But how? I think the easiest way is to use wall from alpha. Okay, maybe let's put the but so minus 13. I'm using A for I1 and then B for I2 and then C for I3 and then D for I. Great. Jalan and then A plus B minus C, right? And that will equal to zero. Again, so we have minus three A minus three B plus eleven C. And then minus 2t is equal to 0. And then the last equation, we will have minus 6a. And then you need to be careful here because that is minus 2i3, which is c. And then plus 12i4, which is t. And that will equal to 0. And let's solve from alpha. So 
And then should be how long? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's do in the approximate form. So we will have this amount. Okay, so I1 is minus 26.5. One is minus six point five five, and it's I two. I two is minus seven point five seven six. Two is minus one. Okay, and then I three. What is I three? I3 is minus 11.36. 11. And then what is I4? I4 is just there. Okay, so far, far. Minus 15.52. Minus 15.152. And the unit is ampere. Ampere 15 ampere. And now, what is the question used to find the power dissipated in the 5 ohm resistor? This one, okay. So, the question A, we ask about the power. So, the power is I squared multiplied by the resistance, right? So, we will have, this is I2, right? So, we will have minus 7.576 squared multiplied by 5 so we will have the power what is it so this we will have minus 7.56 and then squared and then multiplied by 5 so we will have 287 maybe 28 6.98 and the unit here is what okay and then the power supply okay we have this one so we have the power is the voltage multiplied by the current the voltage is 500 and then the current here okay the direction is not important so the sign we can we can ignore the sign. So we will have what is it? 6.55 multiplied by 500. Okay, so we will have 100 or maybe 13.26. 13.26 and the unit will be zero. Yeah, that is all for this problem. Hopefully this helped you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.